we have so many initiatives to close the digital divide in the country. And these initiatives can be divided into two. One in the area of digital skills, to provide the skills to our citizens. And two, accessibility and connectivity. This is very important. When it comes to connectivity, it has two dimensions as well. Firstly, accessibility. And secondly, affordability. What the federal government of Nigeria has done is to come up with policies that will ensure connectivity, affordability, and digital skills to our citizens. The most important policy is national digital economy policy and strategy for a digital Nigeria. And the second one is Nigerian National Broadband Plan uh, 2020 to 2025. So our government has been implementing these two policies out of many in order to ensure connectivity on one hand and digital skills on the other. In the area of connectivity, we have so many initiatives like we have Universal Service Provision Fund. So this fund is to provide connectivity in areas that are unserved and underserved. Secondly, we have what we call rollout obligation, where the regulatory bodies of government can direct mobile network operators to provide connectivity in certain areas where government has national interest there, like for security or economic development, among others. Number three, we also have another ambitious project, uh, which is being entitled as a NICTIP, that is National Information and Communication Technology Infrastructure Backbone. So we have completed NICTIP 1, which covers around 14 states in Nigeria, and now we are in the process of implementing NICTIP 2, in which government has budgeted over 400 uh, million USD to provide connectivity to our citizens. Uh, number four, which to me is also very important, is to pr providing the enabling environment for attracting foreign direct investment to come to Nigeria and leverage on this uh, population of around 220 million people. This has been yielding a positive result. When it comes to the digital skills, we have 1,001 initiatives also in that uh, area. For example, even during the peak of COVID-19 pandemic, we have established two virtual institutions. They are virtual academies online, where we encourage our citizens to enroll and get certification through that. And uh, within that period of a uh, lockdown, we train over 500,000 Nigerians. Wow. And not only basic training, but intermediate and advanced training in the area of uh, emerging technology, cyber security, IoT, artificial intelligence, among many others. This went consistent in furthering the partnership between the DWTC UAE and the NIPCA Nigeria to promote the country's digital objectives to the global community. And so it is with very great pleasure here in GTEx that we can award the DWTC, the Dubai World Trade Center, leadership Commitment to Professor Isa Ali Ibrahim. Professor.